All right, guys. Today we're talking about Plasma uh, and where he sits in the current meta of the game post tier suppression. Before tier suppression came out, Plasma was insane. Plasma with tier two can trade against any army, even if they only had slots one, two, and three, and he could trade for, for bonus points, and he, all he'd have to use was tier two. And believe it or not, tier two was actually better than tier seven for Plasma bombs, just bombs alone. Not using his first skill, just his second skill. So tier 2 Plasma with full HP gear was insane. Tier Suppression came out and they nerfed it. Uh, and it's still useful, if and only if, you're going against somebody who doesn't use Tier Suppression at all at the highest level. So you, you do run into it very rarely, uh, but it does occur. But for the most part, so everyone's running at least 10% or 6% Suppression. So Plasma's not very good. So, okay. Uh, moving on to what we can do with Plasma. Well, his new skin came out. I got it. Let's put that on. Makes him look nice and handsome. And his first, uh, his second skill is the Quantum Blast. Mine's a 51. And it says 76% of the troops' hit points before they die blows up. But it can't exceed 200% of normal damage. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, you would think that you can't just stack hit point bonus on his gear and keep going up and up and up because it'll get capped at 200% of normal damage. Honestly, I haven't been able to hit the cap with HP gear yet, and I'm going to prove it today because a lot of people build damage on Plasma, which is a good way to build a battle Plasma. Uh, however, HP, I think, all around is better, uh, especially if you're using the first skill, Dodge. So there's two ways to build a Plasma. As a straight-up, like, kind of hard fighter who uses high-tier troops and always trades effectively, or there's just a straight bomb Plasma who's stacked with HP and uses tier two. Um, so let's talk about that. The first skill is a 20% chance, or 40% chance to trigger. Wow, I thought it was 20. Uh, and that if he dodges successfully when attacked, they take 63% of their own damage. So it's really good if you just use like one slot of tier nine or tier 10 that dodges really well. And if someone attacks you with, you know, a thousand units in a slot, they might destroy themselves if you can successfully dodge. Uh, okay, so... Let's jump on to the gear. A lot of people like to gear with uh, damage. I personally used to run a damage plasma. I still kind of run it because I thought for a while that the damage was helping the bombs. Uh, but I have recently done the research again, and I have proven that HP gear is far better. So Lightning Bolt and Pangolin is the recommended gear for starting. And later down the line, um, I do like the dodge on this plasma. But if I was going to pure uh, uh, bomb build, I would use Fabrication. And I think those are the best HP pants. Maybe there's better. I don't know. Definitely Fabrication is really good. Uh, as well as Ghost Mask for no negative stats and a pure HP. Uh, the Total Resistance Weakened Effect doesn't appear to work on his second skill. And neither do Rabbit Ears. Rabbit Ears do not seem to work on his second skill as well. Just on his regular normal damage. So, let's look at... These, we've got some HP and HP for Eternal Barriers, cheap items to get. So all around, Plasma's a pretty cheap commander to build, and he's really effective, and, and he can scare your opponents off uh, if you uh, if they know you have a good one. So, of course, if they're using Tear Suppression, he's not so great. Anyway, all right, so where he stands now, you can also go to Thalmus 4 to get that HP there. Uh, and here are some replays to show you how Plasma bombs. So, uh, I have them all saved here. And we'll start off with the Apocalypse Hall level 20 on all these. I have the Apocalypse Hall 20 on, plus maximum infantry research. And uh, advanced research doesn't affect these. So in the first replay, we're going to no gear at all against a level 13 monster. These are all against the same monster. And uh, I did start off with 100 units per slot. That does change, but it all scales. So 10, 10 units or 100 units, you just multiply by 10. So 3580 is the total damage. You'll notice the damage is even across the board. Uh, every unit gets hit for the same amount, so 100 units dies, and we get 35113. I'll write that down. 35113 to all units. Doesn't matter their defense. Defense is ignored. It just does raw damage straight to the HP. So if you're gearing up against a plasma, HP seems to be better than defense if you're just getting bombed. All right, now we'll put on the first piece of gear. Uh, we're going to get 45% HP off of that, and our damage is going to go from 35,113 to 40,621. All right, so our damage went up from 35,000 
to 40,000. We actually gained 5,500 damage for 50% increase. So 50% HP on gear, we ended up gaining, I want to say, what is that? Uh, I don't know. 18% damage for the bomb. So that's good. Uh, moving on to the second piece of gear, we gain another, what is that, 43%? Something like that, 43% more. So we went 35,000 to 40,600 to, Forty five thousand eight hundred and twenty three. Okay, another five thousand gained five thousand two hundred this time. So not as much, but that's okay. The, the gear increase wasn't as much either, but it seemed pretty consistent. About five thousand. All right. In the next replay, we add the rabbit ears. The rabbit ears provide us a bunch of attack. That's seventy percent attack. And if you remember his second skill, it says that his bomb is limited to the amount of 200% of normal attack. So I don't think gear has anything to do with that. So let's show that replay. And we're gonna see that this replay is exactly the same damage as the previous one. In the previous one, we did 45,823. And in this one, we're gonna do the exact same amount, even though we gained 60% damage. 45,823 on the dot. So not a single thing changed. All right, now we're going to go up to, and that, that's to prove that bonus damage and rabbit ears have no effect. So that second skill does not affect, does, doesn't be affected by those uh, stats. Now, in this one, once again, we add raw damage, and we're expecting to see the same thing, 45,823. There it is. Okay. So we know for sure that the damage bonuses we're getting from gear and the strength and weaken effect is not affecting his second skill. So going into the next replay, we drop that stuff off again and we only use 10. I put this replay in as a control to let people know that it's, it's instead of a 45,823, it's going to be 45 or 4,500. So it should be 4582 or 4583. It's uh, 10 times less. So 4582. So we just. Uh, we just you know, divided it by 10, basically. And that's because the troops weren't one-shotting my plasma. So I had to, to adjust it. Now, we add our first Eternal Barrier. Now our HP is going to increase 50% more. And we're looking for an increase from 4,582. 4, and what do we get? 5,140. We gained another 5,000. So, 5,300. Okay, now we're going to add... A second Eternal Barrier, slightly better, and we expect to see this go up another 5,000 or so, so 5140 should turn into about 56 something. 56 something. 5752, so that was actually a pretty big upgrade. 5752, okay. Now, we'll get one more piece of gear on here, the Rabbit Ears again, just to see if maybe the HP was capping us, maybe the eight, there was too much HP and not enough damage. And let's see what happens. We should. We are expecting to see 5752 unless we've hit the cap. So we're expecting to see 5752. And that's correct, 5752. So the bonus damage after four pieces of gear did not affect the bomb. So we know that the damage gear didn't help. And we're going on to the last item, which is the ghost mask. And we're going to ignore the resistance weaken because we don't think it affects it. And we're going to use 96% HP there and another 30 on the gem. We should see a nice big bomb with just 10 troops. So let's see. 7298. 7298. We increased it by 1500. 1500 off that, that just the ghost mask alone. So our initial bomb started off at 35,000, but we had 100 troops. We'll call it 3,500. And then we doubled it to 7298 with that gear all HP gear and the attack gear did nothing for us. So that's the way you want to play Plasma if you're using him as a tier two bomber. And uh, another something interesting here that I think is worth pointing out is that tier seven does not bomb better. Okay, and this is gonna take a while to prove, um, but we'll go through it. Tier seven is worth 30 units. And you'll see he has all that same gear on. So 30 units, it's the equivalent of a, Oh gosh, what is that? Uh, doing math when you're recording is terrible. Uh, seven and a half? Yeah, seven and a half tier two. So unfortunately, tier seven is too strong. I was trying to get it to, to 60 units to have a nice even number so I could send 15 lurkers. 
which is 60 units value, as opposed to, you know, uh, in conjunction with two con conquerors, which is 60 unit value. So, all right, we're waiting for one of these troop stacks to die to see what the bomb value is, because the bomb's only calculated at the time the troop stack dies. Oh, I need to, re I need to fast forward this. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, we can see this, the first skill triggering and um, seeing the, the stack do damage to itself here. So 93.53. So I think that's actually the amount of damage that the troop could have done. It is limited. I don't think it says it, but it is limited. That's yeah, hard to say. I'm not too worried about the, the first skill. It is a good skill to have, and that's more for a combat plasma, but I don't think he's the best choice for that right now. All right, we're finally going to get a kill here. It's coming up. 30 units does 2998. 2998. So that's a 30 unit stack. Now, I'll fast forward this. Now, I say a 30 unit stack. I mean, tier 4 or tier 2, what we started with, lurkers, is only 4 units. Right? So 4 units. Right there under lurker, it says units 4. Over here, it says conquerors, unit 30. So for every seven and a half uh, lurkers, you get one conqueror. So the damage should be seven and a half times stronger. But what we're about to find out is that when one conqueror blows up for 30, uh, it doesn't do as much damage as tier two. So, and unfortunately these guys didn't die, which is why I had to do the other replay. All right, so 15 units. So whatever this damage is, we're gonna cut it in half. And that's how much the tier seven should have hit four. And that's going to be 10,947. 10,947. And the tier seven, if it was equal, would have hit for 5,400-ish. 5,400. -ish. 5,400. But it didn't. It hit for 3,000. So tier two is a confirmed better bombing troop, and it's way cheaper than tier seven. So if you're going to run a bomb plasma, which I recommend everyone have, um, run them with tier two. If you catch somebody not using tear suppression, oh boy, you are going to go to town on them. Old school style, but it's hard to do it nowadays. But every once in a while, you get an opportunity. Anyway, so that's Plasma, and that's the way uh, I recommend playing them. If, if, if you're still using Plasma, the meta's changed quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, that's just uh, that's the best way to do it, and there's the math to prove it. So, enjoy. Thanks for watching.